took DM cardiology in UN Mehta in year of 2019 and currently I am as a third year resident in UN Mehta. So the question is uh, why I choose uh, UN Mehta for DM cardiology. First is how is the academic. So um, in UN Mehta we have very great schedule of uh, academics and we are following that. Uh, starting from uh, our week we have having uh, two to three seminars for basic cardiology concepts. We are having uh, journal club presentations for uh, recent journal articles which are published in either any GM or any ESC or ACC. Uh, we are having a CAT discussion every Saturday. We are having case presentation once a week. And we are having a mortality meet once a month. In CAT discussion we discuss about uh, difficult cases uh, which we have operated or which we have, uh, which in which we have done intervention. So uh, all uh, departments from UN Meta includes cardiology department, CVTS department, and anesthesia department gather to uh, they meet together and discuss about the interesting cases. We are 1200 bedded hospital and every time you are getting more than 90% occupancy of what I can say. So you are getting each and every type of patients in UN Meta. You name the patient and we are having. And so you are getting very good hands on actually starting from first year in uh, DM uh, uh, we are having posting in ICU in ICU you are getting IABP insertion you are getting TPI insertion you are doing TPI insertion you are doing stress echo you are doing tilt table test so lots of procedures you do in first year when we come to second year we uh, we are having cat postings in cat postings you are getting plenty of ngos you are assisting angioplasties bmv structural uh, disease procedures including bmv bav pda so a uh, lot of procedures you get to assist while we enter in the third year we are getting uh, independent classes we are doing angioplasties right now in third year so we are having daily at least on an average 70 to 80 procedures in cat so not only in adult cardiology, includes pediatric cardiology and uh, electrophysiology department. We are getting on an average uh, 1 lakh per month starting from first year and uh, every year you uh, proceed further. In second year and third year we are getting uh, 2 to 5 thousand of increment. So you are uh, looking, if you are having a good rank, you have secured good rank in DM entrance and uh, looking for best institute in India. So UN Mehta is the right place to choose. I have completed my DM Cardiology Residency Program from prestigious UN Mehta Institute of Cardiology and Research Center affiliated with BJ Medical College Ahmedabad. Uh, as we all know, this is the one of the largest cardiac care hospitals all over the world. And uh, during three years of residency, the residents are posted in various departments like uh, cardiac ICUs, wards, OPDs, echocardiography, TMT, pediatric cardiology, electrophysiology, and obviously the cath lab. The residents get a very good hands-on experience in both the fields of cardiology, non-invasive as well as invasive and uh, very good accommodation facilities also provided and a decent uh, stipend amount is given to the residents and uh, daily interactive academic sessions take place. I would uh, strongly recommend all the future cardiac uh, residents.
did my post graduation from the IDGMC Ujjain. During uh, uh, joining, I have also yeah, informed regarding my seniors. They have good number of the they get the good number of plasties uh, when they are in the third years and second years. So which are a uh, very least number all over the India. So that is my first preference uh, that the patient inflow, then number of emergencies are present, then numbers of eco and indoor patients. OPD patients are good number all over as compared to the all over India. So my uh, seniors are got enough number of plasties uh, during the residencies. So after residency so many centers are got but during the residency very few centers who, uh, who are teachers and uh, very uh, uh, giving the hands on practice on the plasties. In the echocardiography there is we can find a variety like in the pediatric eco, fetal eco. 3D echocardiography, transesophageal eco, and uh, 3D T. So multiple, uh, multiple uh, instra, uh, instruments and multiple uh, uh, features we have. I think this is the ACS or world's largest single superspeciality institute. And uh, the uh, good thing is this is NABH hospitals. So these are the government's institute and the NABH hospitals. These are the good things. So we can learn and uh, something good from here.